are 12 days away from kickoff and happy valley isn't that hard to believe it's it's crazy this off season has just flown by fall camp have arrived and is now behind us the team is getting ready to start their prep for penn state here soon and it's it's just crazy uh year five of the neil brown era is officially here and in 12 days uh, they'll get it kicked off against penn state and happy valley i am skylar callahan here on between the ears on Mountaineers Down SI Fan Nation channel. And today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about that running back room, but more specifically about the lead guy in that room, CJ Donaldson, just how good of a year can he have? This is the biggest thing that I'm trying to be, that I've really been going back and forth on over the last couple of days, is like, what is CJ Donaldson's ceiling in year two? Can he go for a thousand yards? Can he go for 1200 yards? Could he really explode and hit 13 or 1400? Or could he be restricted? And because of the other talent in that room, and nobody hits a thousand on West Virginia's in West Virginia's running back room. From everything that I've heard coming out of WVU is CJ Donaldson is as good as you would expect him to be and then some he looks fast he's playing faster he's more in shape he's stronger which is hard to believe because he was pretty strong as a true freshman a year ago and he understands how to stay on his feet and i'm not that he really had a, a problem with that a year ago but when you first learn how to play running back especially this late in, in your career you, it's a little different taking hits as a running back than it is as a tight end, which he played in high school and some receiver because you're out in the open space, you're running and then you're getting the ball, not getting the ball and being hit and being met with contact in the backfield or the line of scrimmage. So it's a little bit different. So contact balance is much improved. And for him, I think if he can continue to show that he can be more than just a downhill north-south type of guy. If he can bounce it every now and then, he can catch balls out of the backfield, that's really what is going to end up opening this offense up more. It's not the fact that they're going to have four running backs, which that is going to help. But when you add C.J. Donaldson to the passing game and you add uh, C.J. Donaldson running the, the wide zone effectively and just hitting the outside and really putting pressure – on those perimeter guys, the guys at the cornerback spot that be, you know, supportive in their run game. Again, this is when, you know, like Chad Scott said a couple of weeks back, those guys are going to have to make business decisions. When you have CJ Donaldson barreling down on a five foot 10, five foot nine, 180 pound soaking wet corner, uh, that's, that's a tough draw for that corner to win. So that, that's why I feel like he has got so much room to grow still as a running back, as an all-around back. Um, but as far as what we saw last year, he's built on every single bit of that and has taken his game to the next level. And if he is given the carries needed to get to that 1,000-yard mark or higher, he'll definitely get there. There's no question about it. He's not a guy that's going to be brought down by the first tackle. He's not going to be got a guy that gets brought down by an arm tackle or a reach tackle. Uh, somebody trying to pull his jersey or trip him up with their, his feet. He's not going to do that. His his contact balance is stronger. He's more physical than he was, again, which is very surprising considering how strong and physical he was a year ago. If he gets the touches needed, which I, I would have to figure it up in my head, but if he gets the touches needed to get to 1,000, he's going well past it. Again, I'm going to go back to – the depth they have in the running back room, it seems like they really like the signs that they're seeing out of Justin Johnson Jr. Probably been their most consistent guy in that room, and he should be. He's the most experienced guy in that room. Uh, he's the oldest guy in that room. C.J. Donaldson may be the best talent in that room, but he's still, again, he's got a ways to go before he's that complete all-around back um, that they need him to be and for him to – get on the NFL radar officially. Everyone kind of knows who he is at the NFL level, but getting on the radar, that entails completing your game, being a good pass protector, again, being good on the outside zone, 
uh, which he has shown capability of doing in, in catching the ball at the back. So there's there's not so much worry about him being a receiver because he again he played tight end receiver in high school. We know what he can do there. Uh, but I'm going off track here. Back to back to the depth in that room. They love what they see out of Justin Johnson Jr. They've been very high on the true freshmen, both DJ Oliver and Jaheim White. I think Jaheim White's going to find a spot in that running back rotation. I'm not, I'm not so sure about DJ Oliver just yet. I think they may be that may be a wait and see kind of thing, especially when you have so many bodies in there as it is. There's no need to just throw him in there and waste a year of eligibility when. He can maybe still play in four games, get that, that that taste of experience, get his feet wet, and save a year. Um, it makes sense. Jaheim White's been here since the spring. He knows what he's been, what he needs to do. So I think that, that room is in good shape. Again, if they spread the touches out, then I don't know that we get a running back with a thousand yards, even though CJ Donaldson is talented enough to. But another guy that I forgot to mention too is Jalen Anderson who has had a really good offseason. He was another guy last year that just really wasn't playing into shape. He spent that last year playing into shape. He's now in shape, and he's ready to kind of take on uh, a competition for that role as RB2 behind CJ with Justin Johnson Jr. So it's a loaded room. I think CJ Donaldson is going to have a terrific season, and I don't know if we'll see him hit that 1,000-yard mark this year, but this year is the, the tone setter. This is the year where he goes out there and proves to everybody that he is one of the best backs in the Big 12 and maybe even the country and doing damage with the, the touches that he does get. And in 2024, when that comes around, that's when everyone in the country is going to really know who C.J. Donaldson is and what to expect from him. And he will emerge as one of the top five running backs in the country. So this is a tone-setting year for C.J. Um, and when he gets another year under his belt, he's going to take off. So that's going to do it uh, for today's episode of Between the Ears on Skylar Callan. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Mountain Years Now. You can follow me at Callan underscore and hit that subscribe button. Give us a like on our, our YouTube page, Mountain Years Now as well. Uh, that'll do it for us today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Between the Years.